a cycling pad, also known as chamois, or bike pad, or fondello. Italian, gamuza, or madonna. Spanish, peau. French, is a protective insert that is applied in cycling shorts with the main purpose of protecting the groin from the friction of constant and prolonged saddle contact. Cycling. Pads were developed at the beginning of the 1900s and were exclusively made of deer leather up until the 1980s, when technical fabrics were introduced and allowed for enhanced performance. The first high-tech thermo-molded cycling pads date back to the early 1990s. Gel inserts also make their first appearance and are used in addition to polyurethane foams for extra comfort. It is only in the year 2000 that the chamois is produced with an elastic technology, which allows the pad to move with the cyclist's body. This technology acts as an elastic interface between the cyclist's body and the saddle, and it is these very few square inches that are vertically subject to body weight and pressure. For this reason it is essential for a cycling pad to be capable of protecting the body from the compression the body exerts in contact with the saddle and from chafing in the inner leg area. That is due to the thousands of pedal strokes and revolutions that a cyclist carries out. During a normal workout, the cycling pad is the most important component of the entire cycling short. Its functions are to protect the cyclist's body, whose weight exerts vertical pressure on the saddle supplying maximum protection, particularly at a perennial and ischiatic level, also helping to protect from urogenital disorders. Beyond delivering the highest level of comfort possible, the athlete can then focus and concentrate on his pedal stroke instead of coping with discomfort and annoying pains that can arise due to continuous compression on a limited surface such as a bicycle saddle supply protection so as to avoid chafing due to pedal strokes. An athlete can easily count an average of 100 pedal strokes per minute, totaling 18,000 revolutions in three hours. Without an adequate cycling pad, continuous chafing can lead to rashes and perhaps even cause the skin to tear. Offer a skin-compatible, hygienic solution, since cyclists do not wear undergarments beneath their shorts. By absorbing sweat and leaving the skin in the intimate parts as dry as possible, preventing skin irritation, the best cycling pads on the market have bacteriostatic properties, thanks to exclusive fabrics that are developed with carbon thread for instance, a material that is naturally bacteriostatic and antistatic, free from antibacterial treatments, which instead are often chlorine-based and may lead to skin irritations. In addition to eliminating the endogenous bacterial flora of the skin, favoring the proliferation of exogenous harmful bacteria and potentially creating resistant strains of bacteria, one preliminary study claims that cycling pads allow the athlete to maintain a better posture, reducing adjustments and increasing seating stability. It is claimed reduction of these unnecessary movements saves energy and oxygen. There are different types of chamois that are intended for different purposes. Long-distance rides call for a cycling pad with multi-density elastic interface inserts. Made with ultra-high-density foam some pads available on the market have up to four different foam densities that come in contact with different areas of the body that interface with the saddle. There are also extreme categories, like ultra-cycling. For those who race up to 24 hours consecutively, a bike pad for short to medium distance rides will be made with less protection and the elastic interface inserts will be made with polyurethane-based foams, having medium density and that allow for greater freedom of movement on and off the saddle. Furthermore, there are specific pads designed for special cycling disciplines, such as triathlon, mountain bike, cyclocross, chrono time trial and indoor cycling thanks for watching please like and subscribe